Hello everyone, welcome back to FX021. So last time we created a bandage on the mummy. So in this lesson, we're gonna create uh, the fire on the edge. So uh, let's get started. Uh, so we're gonna uh, create a object merge uh, to grab the, uh, the one we did last, last time. So it's the working animation on the mummy, and uh, uh, we create a rest attribute. Uh, I don't think I used it, but uh, yeah, just create a rest. You can I can disable this, uh, and we subdivide so it get more detail. Uh, it get more polygons because we can apply a noise on the on surface of the uh, object. So. We want to get capture as much uh, as the details. Yes, and uh, now it has the working animation, but we 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 want uh, it to it's on the T pose, so it's not moving. So we create a time shift and uh, and put it on the first frame. So now it's not moving. Now we can uh, create some groups and uh, scatter some point on it uh, because if you see in the video, uh, the fire is spreading, you see? And once the fire is spreading, the mummy uh, are visible. So we're gonna create this kind of effect. So, uh, uh, so I, read, I just select some part and delete, okay? Uh, and we scatter some point, so not a lot. So I only scatter like 11 points, and I create a sphere and copy that to the point. Okay. And so now, if we template the sphere, you can see there on the surface. Uh, and we create a group based on the sphere. So. If we so this is the group we create. So I set it to the keeping bounding regions, and I'm using the bounding objects, which is which are the sphere we created. And I change the group name to dollar OS, which means the node name. So the group is called temp, uh, and it's a point group. Okay, so. We want to set these points to maybe a value of one, and the others, uh, the not selected to the maybe zero. So we want to uh, make sure the run of a point, and we create an attribute wrangle. So call it the temperature. So the temperature now is zero on the one we not selected, and also. We want uh, the temperature to be 25 on the temp group. The temp group is the group uh, here. So this uh, orange point will be at the temperature value 25 and the white white one that we not select uh, the temperature zero. So this one we set because we haven't selected any group on the attribute wrangle. So if we visualize the temperature, it's you can you're not gonna see it because it's all zero, okay? And we apply the temperature uh, twenty five to only the temp group, and now if we visualize the temperature, you can see these part are red, okay? And the blue means zero. If we turn around the temperature, you see the blue is zero, and and twenty five is the red. So let's turn off the visualize of the temperature. So now we want to spread this uh, attribute. So this temperature attribute. So we can use the node pyro sort spread. So if we go to frame, let's say 20. So it will calculate and just wait. 
So now it's 20. If we visualize the burn, a total burn, you can see uh, this is the group we created. And now it's spreading, spreading to the whole body. So, so basically we want to make this green area as the edge of our uh, fire. So these are the uh, where we generate our fire. And we can delete this uh, purple area. So it's look like it's uh, spreading and we only keep the red area as their body. So when they go to the four frame branch, all the purple area are gone. So they are all red and the, the fire on this green, greenish area. Okay, that's the basic idea. So uh, let's create a pyro spread. So if we plug it in, uh, let's visualize. By default, it's not spreading. You see, uh, it's it's not. It's just uh, from green to red. It's not spreading. It's because of the cooling rate. And also, uh, you need to make sure it's set to the attribute is temperature. Okay. Uh, t make sure the spelling is right. So the pyro spread recognized it. So, and you can visualize uh, maybe a total burn. You can see it's it's not working. It's because of the cooling rate is too much. So it's not, not spreading at all. So let's see. So I set my cooling rate to 0 0.05. So 0 0.05. And you can also uh, increase the diffusion rate, maybe five. So now if we go to the frame 20, uh, you can see now it's spreading, you see? Yeah, so that's the basic idea. Uh, you can, there is a noise pattern going on here, so you can see the edges, uh, uh, you can change the edge here. Uh, there is a noise pattern you can play around, maybe a pattern, so it's different. Uh, I'm setting this to a volume, but that's based on, it depends on you. So yeah, that's the basic idea. So once we have that settled down, uh, we have the spread. Now uh, you can see we are visualizing the total burn here. So the pyro spread creates a burn diffuse rate, fuel, fuel gain, old P, position, rest, uh, temperature, and total burn. So if we visualize the temperature here, uh, it's different. And burn, fuel, it's it's all different. So we can use the total burn attribute here. So you can see if I'm uh, set, make sure you set this to point. If I delete the, uh, the point total burn less than one, it's only giving me this area, okay? And uh, if we invert that, so delete non-selected, it's this area, okay? Uh, you can also go to the geometry spreadsheet and find total, uh, it's called, what's this? Total burn, total burn. Uh, you can visualize the uh, attribute here so you know what value you delete here, okay? And uh, let me delete this. So yeah, this is the total burn. And uh, now we delete the one and not non-selected, which has the purple and green. The green area is where we want to generate uh, the fire. So if we go through the timeline, you can see this green area is where we generate the fire and uh, 
we want it to move like uh, now it's a t pose we want to uh, we want to point deform them so it has a walk walking animation so the point deform here is uh, similar to what we did uh, on our first class I think so the first input is sure the one we have our burn attribute and the second input is our time shift so it's the one that not moving and the third input is our animation so after the subdivide uh, make sure that it's uh, it's the subdivide one not the object merge which is not subdivide so the polygon are the same so now you can see it we got the attribute the green area and we also got the we also got the working animation all together so now we want to isolate the the green area so it's the total burn equals 0 0.5 so if we uh, ch choose that and uh, delete not select it you can see this green area has been isolated okay and uh, what I do here is uh, is this red area I'm also using the same technique point deform them and it's called bandage uh, distinguish so if we delete the delete the color uh, if we delete the we visualizing the yeah so if we see you see this part is our geometry and we want have this geometry combined with the fire we create at this here okay so this is the total burn uh, less than one and we point deform and uh, and uh, create a bandage distinguishing uh, effects here okay and now let's back to the fire here so so yeah uh, these are geometry here so you can see we got these point isolating in the mid air so we can use a clean node to delete that and now we use the uh, pyro sauce so turn that turn this geometry to points uh, so we use surface scatter so scatter points on the geometry and you can change the particles separation to make it less or more so we create a burn attribute and density attribute I don't think we need density but uh, the burn burn attribute is important and we create attribute noise so if we visualize the burn attribute here it's all white now after the attribute noise you can see we got this red and blue area so uh, it's different now so just uh, use the burn as your attribute name and uh, create a noise pattern here you can also animate noise so when you play the noise are different so yeah uh, that's the burn attribute do the same thing for the density although I think I don't need it and and attribute transfer uh, so now these two uh, because we're doing it separately so we want to have the burn attribute and density attribute together so I just transfer that back so now if you see we have the burn and density attribute that has been noised uh, all together on this model and we have a template node which I think we don't need it so let's delete so here I'm uh, I don't think we need this as well because we are not simulating 
simulating these fires. So I think we can disable this. And uh, we're only going to use the volume rasterize attribute to uh, do the burn and density attribute. You, and you can tweak the voxel size particle scales here. So now uh, I don't know if you can see. Uh, it's hard to see. But you can see uh, we got this volume here. And uh, now we cache it. So we are not simulating. So if we cache it, it's hard to see. But uh, we got the volume here. And uh, now we can use a volume rasterize attribute and uh, set emission field to burn and emission scale uh, to 100. And now you can see the uh, flame effects. So, yeah, uh, that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.